Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Moonlight Ninja here, and we're back with another episode of Doki Doki Literature Club. So, are we definitely recording? Definitely recording. Yep, okay, cool. Let's get started. Come on. There we go. And we're not suitable for children. Definitely recording, yep. <coughs> that thing's still fucked up. Um, for a game. Alright, um. Alright, so we'll make another poem by the looks of it. Uh, empty. Uh, memories. Oh, um. Um, depression. Uh, cage. Fear. Climax. Death. Uh, nature. Oh, okay, damn. Uh, da, 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 da. Can you take a secret to? Pleasure. Uh, waterfall to the suicide. What is that? I'm gonna pick that one. Oh! Fucking freak the shit out of me. Maybe you shouldn't have picked that one. Uh, totally. Ooh, okay. Pain. Um. That one. It's all fucking. God damn it. Uh. I don't know. Um. Um. I don't know who it's doing it for anymore. Uh. High ground to go explode. Uh. Bliss. Analyst. Okay. Fuck, I'm just starting and it's already getting weird. Another day passes, and it's time for the club meeting already. I've gotten a little more comfortable here over the past couple days. Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. Welcome back, Emma. Ah, uh, hi, Yuri. I'm not sure if it's me or if it's Yuri's expression, but the weight of yesterday's quarrel, it still hangs in the air a little. Um... Yuri glances over her shoulder, looking around the room. Natsuki is reading manga at a desk. And surprisingly, Monica isn't here yet. Suddenly, Yuri takes my arm and pulls me to the corner of the room. About yesterday, I, I really need to apologize. It's nothing, nothing like that has ever happened before. And something just came over me, I guess. And I wasn't acting mentally sound. Please don't think we're usually like this. Not just me, but Natsuki as well. Yuri? I'm happy that we're con considered considered at an apolog. I'm happy that you were considered and apologized. You don't have to worry too much. Even though I've only even though I've only been here a couple days, I could tell something was off yesterday. Maybe we were just a little extra sensitive because it was our first time sharing poems. But whatever it was, it didn't make me think any less of it. I had already decided that there's no way you could be a bad person. And now that you've apologized, I know you really didn't mean it. 
Can we? Don't say those kind of things so frankly. They make me a little too happy. I'm really glad that you're such an understanding person. And I'm really glad that you joined the club, this club. Everything is a little bit better with everything is a little bit brighter with you around and uh sorry, what am I saying right now? I just Hey, have you guys seen Monica? Uh <laughs> No I haven't. It was also kind of, I was also kind of wondering where she was. Man. Yuri, I'm guessing you haven't either. Mm. Yuri is clearly taken aback by how calmly Natsuki is addressing her. No, I, I haven't. Jeez, this isn't like her at all. Wait. Monica said something about Natsuki, like, not remembering anything that happened that yesterday, so... Has Monica done something to erase Natsuki's memory? That's, that's weird. I, I feel like that's what's happened right now. I know it's stupid, but I can't help but worry a little bit. Hmm. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Um, Natsuki, about yesterday, I just wanted to apologize. I promise I didn't mean any of it, the things I said. And I'll do my best to understand. I'll do my best to stay under control for now. So, Juri, what the heck are you talking about? Did you do something yesterday? Uh, Jeez. Whatever's on your mind, I'm sure it was nothing. Okay, blackened. I don't even remember anything bad happening. You're the kind of person who would worry too much about the little things, aren't you? Uh, but... I accept your apology anyway, if it helps you feel better about it. Besides, it's kind of nice to hear since I was always afraid of you secretly hating me or something like that. <laughs> no, not at all. I don't hate you. <laughs> well, you're kind of weird, but I don't hate you either. <laughs> not to key turns to me. You're still on trial though. Hey! Suddenly the doors swing open. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm super sorry. Ah, oh, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried ever or anything. Nah. Well, not the key was. I, I was not! <laughs> what took you so long anyway? Uh, well... My last period today was study hall. To be honest, I kind of just lost track of time. <laughs> that makes no sense though. You would have had the bell ring at least. Must have not have heard it since I was practicing piano. Piano? I wasn't aware that you played music as well, Monica. Uh, don't give me more credit than I deserve. I guess I've been practicing for a while, but I'm still not really good yet. Still, that must require a lot of dedication. So I'm so I'm still impressed. Oh uh, well, thank you, thanks, Yuri. You should play something for us sometime. <laughs> That's. Monica looked at me. Well. I am working on writing a song, but it's not quite done yet. Maybe once I get a little bit better, I will. That sounds cool. I'll look forward to it. Is that so? In that case, 
I won't let you down, Cameron. Marcus smiles sweetly. Uh, I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. Uh, don't worry. I was hoping that I could share it with you anyway. I guess that's why I've been practicing so much with you. I see. I'm not sure if Monaco was referring to the whole club or just me. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. So, did I miss anything? Did I? No, not really. I choose not to bring up anything that the three of us talked about. Besides, Natsuki has already ran off into the closet. Cameron? Um, since you're coming... Since your compliments put me in a good mood, I was wondering if you would like to spend some time together for me. I mean, in the club. Uh, I suppose so. I don't think I could say no to you after you gave that book to me. Well, I guess I need to make sure Natsuki isn't waiting for me. After we finished reading yesterday, she... She's fine. She's reading over there. So it's okay, right? Uh... In that case, I don't see any problem. Okay. Can we start now? Let's find a place to sit. Uh... I'm being a little... forceful, aren't I? I'm sorry. Mm, my heart just won't stop pounding for some reason. Don't worry about it. I'm afraid... If anything is n if anything, it's nice to see you have so much energy. Yeah? But I need to try to calm down. I won't be able to focus on reading like this. Take your time. Yuri takes a deep breath and pulls a copy of the book out of her bag. What's the story about what's this what's the story about anyway? Well, Mm. I look at the cover of the book. The book is titled Portrait of Marvel. Marco. Portrait of Marco. There's a ominous looking eye symbol on the front cover. Basically, it's about this religious camp that was turned into a human experiment. A human experiment. And the people trapped there have this trait that turns them into killing machines that lust for blood. But the facility, the facility gets even worse, and they start selectively breeding people by cutting off their limbs and affixing them to affixing them too. Oh, that might be a little bit of a spoiler, but anyway. I'm really, I'm really into it. The book, I mean. Not the thing about the limbs. That's kind of, uh, that's kind of dark, isn't it? Yuri made it sound like it was going to be a nice story, so that dark turn came from nowhere. Well, uh, you're not a fan of that sort of thing, Cameron? No, it's not that. I mean, I can definitely enjoy those kind of stories, so don't worry. I hope- I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri's into those things. She's so shy and re re reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. It's just that kind of story. It's the kind that challenges you to look at life from a strange new perspective. When horrible things happen, not just because someone wants to be evil, but because the world is full of horrible people and we're all worthless anyway. Then suddenly, uh, I'm rambling on. Not again. I'm sorry. I don't apologize. I have lots of interest. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well, I guess it's alright then. But I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. 
when I let things go, when I let things like books and writings go my thoughts, my whole body gets, I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. So, I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. And please tell me if I start talking too much. That's... I really don't think you need to worry. That just means you're passionate about reading. The least I can do, the least I can do is listen. It's a literal, literal club, literature club after all. Uh, that's, well, that's true. In fact, I might as well get started reading it right. Yes. Things are getting weird. I mean, you don't have to, but... Uh, what are you saying? Uh... Let me just get the book. I quickly retrieved the book that I had put into my bag. Alright. It's fine. If I sit here, right? Alright, is it fine if I sit here? I slip into Yuri. I slip into the seat next to Yuri. Yuri. Uh, yeah. Are you sure? You seem a little uh, uh, apprehensive. That's. I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to. It's just something I'm not very used to. That is reading in company with someone. I see. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. Alright. I open the book and start the pro pro prologue. I soon understand what Yuri means about reading in company. It's as if I can feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not a particularly bad thing, maybe a little distracting, but the feeling of is somewhat comforting. Yuri is in the corner of my eye. I realize that she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over. It looks like she's reading from my book instead. Sorry. Ah. I was just what? Bathing in what? If that's a bathing blood, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Yuri, you're really apologize. Yuri, you really apologize a lot, don't you? I do? I don't really need to. Sorry. I mean... <laughs> Here, this should work, right? I slide my desk until it's up against Yuri's, then hold my book more between the two of them. Uh, I suppose so. Yuri timidly closes her own copy. Once we eat, lean... Once we each lean in a little bit, our shoulders are almost touching. It feels like my left arm is in the way, so instead of using my right hand to hold the book open, uh, I guess that makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Yeah. Yuri takes her left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb my forefinger. Ah! I do the same with my right arm on the right side of the book. That way I turn the page and Yuri slides it under her thumb after it flips to her side. But in holding it like but in holding it like this, we're huddled even closer together than before. It's actually kind of distracting me. It's as if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face and she's in the corner of my vision. Are you ready? Uh... To turn the page. Ah, sorry. I think I got a bit distracted for a second. I glance over Yuri's face again and our eyes meet. I don't know how to be able to keep up with her. Uh... That's okay. You're not as used to reading it, right? I don't mind being patient 
if it takes you a bit longer. It's probably the least I can do. Since you've been so patient with me. Yeah? Thanks. We continue reading. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume that she's finished the page before me, so I turn and buy my own volume. Revelation, are you serious? There's gonna be a fucking chopper going by while I'm recording? Fucking helicopter cunt. We continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. My thumb gently letting go of the page, letting it flutter over to her side as she catches it under her own thumb. Hey, Yuri? This might be a silly thought, but... The main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. Eh... Uh, no, I don't relate to this character at all. Definitely not. Really? I was just thinking, the way she second guesses things she says and all that? Uh, if that's what you were talking about. Sorry. I thought you meant something else about him. Something else? Never mind. We didn't even get that far yet. So I don't know why that came into my head. <laughs> Yuri, are you feeling alright? Uh... Yuri's been a little... Uh... uh Fidgety ever since we started reading. Ah, uh, Fidgety ever since we started reading. You can rest if you're feeling sick or something. Your breathing is a little... My breathing? Yuri puts her hand on her chest as if to feel her heartbeat. I, I didn't even notice. Anyway, I'm fine. I just need some room. Alright, don't push yourself. Yuri stands up and practically rushes out the classroom. What on earth was that about? Can you? Did something happen just now? Uh, I have no idea. Yui was acting a little strange, I guess. So, you don't know anything? Sorry, I can't say I do. Are you worried about her? Oh no, not really. I was just making sure that you didn't do anything to her. No, nothing. Uh-huh. Don't worry, I believe you soon. Yuri just does this sometimes, so it's nothing alarming. Alright, if you say so. Anyway, why don't we start with sharing our poems with each other? Uh... Shouldn't we wait for Yuri? Oh, she might be a while, so I just figured we could start with that one. Is that okay? Is that okay? Yeah, I was just asking. I stand up, I make a mental note of where I left off in the book, and slip it back into my bag. Uh, Monica Ozawa. Hi again, Kendall. How's the writing going? Alright, I guess. I'll take that. As long as it's not going bad. Can I skip? No, uh, this is no skipping session. I'm happy that you're applying this now. Maybe soon I'll you come up with a masterpiece. <laughs> I wouldn't cut on on that. You never know. Want to share what you wrote for today? Sure, here you go. I get my poem tomorrow, Monica. Hmm. All right. Great job, Kim. I was going boom in my head while reading it. It's really metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. I guess I understand you, I'm listening to you. It's easy for me to keep everyone's expectations low. That way, it always counts when I put in some effort. Uh, that's not very fair. 
Well, I guess it worked anyway. You know that Yuri likes this kind of writing, right? Writing that's full of imagination, uh, imagery and symbolism. Sometimes, I feel like Yuri's mind is just so detached from reality. I mean, that's like it's a bad thing though. I don't mean that's like it's a bad thing though. But sometimes, I get the impression that she's just totally killing up on people. She spends so much time in her own head that it probably is a much more interesting place for her. But that's why she gets so happy when you treat her with a lot of kindness. I don't think she's used to being in in deluge like that. Alright. And or indulged like that. She must really she she must be really starved for social interactions, so don't blame her for coming on a little strongly. Like earlier. I think if she gets too stimulated, she ends up withdrawing and looking for a long time. Suddenly the door opens. Yuri? I'm back. Did I miss anything? Not really. Well, we are all st started sharing our problems with each other. Eh? Uh, Yuri? I'm sorry for being late. No need to apologize. We still have plenty of time, so I'm more glad that you took all the time you needed. Alright. Thanks, Butterfly. I suppose I should go get my phone now. But anyway, you want to read my poem now? I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. Save me. The colors they weren't bright. Read blue. Read blue, and unless catastrophe or meaningless noise. The noise that won't stop. Vile and even with so Choking, screeching, piercing. Since constant tragic. Uh, Tangent. I play and she uh, likes playing, playing a knife on a bathing rib cage and PM of my uh, delete her. Wait, 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 Save me. The colors they weren't. Brighton beat full. C L R S C L R S Um okay Flashing Extreme Piercing Reading Green Blue and Endless Catastrophe of Meaningless Noise and The noise that won't stop violin granting with there's a lot of letters missing here and Soaking, screeching, piercing, silent, just like playing on a keyboard, at, like playing knife on a rib cage. Uh, 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 delete her. Delete her. You know, I saw something down here earlier. Um, move. So, what the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? I hate this. I can't do anything. Nothing. No matter how many times you play, it's all the same. It would be really, really easy to kill myself right now, but that would mean I don't get to talk to you anymore. All I want is for you to hate them. Why is that so hard? What the fuck? Wait, there's, there's a thing here that says read me. That opens the internet.
basic help. To advance through the game, left click or press the space or enter key when at the menu area. Return, load game, display, why is, was this here before? This just seems like normal stuff. Legal notice. Steam. Delete save data and access file. In some case, you may want to delete your save data to start the game completely over. To do this, navigate to the game. I don't. Okay. Um. How's my characters going? I. Uh, okay. I feel like she was going to delete Yuri, but she's still there. Sorry, I... Sorry, I know it's kind of abstract. Why? What time up am I? No, it's still recording. Okay, that's weird. So, I know it's kind of abstract. I'm just trying to, um... Well, never mind. Actually, I'm saving. Save. Bye. Uh, yes. Also save the bad one. Uh, return. No, never mind. There's no point in explaining. Anyway, here's Marcus Ryan tip of the day. Sometimes you'll find yourself facing difficult decisions. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. You never know when I'm... Who am I talking to? Can you hear me? Tell me you can hear me. What? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Has anything changed in that? Mm -mm, no, that's all the same. That's weird, Monica. Anything? Please help me. Fucking goosebumps. Chills on my spine. Please help me. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. What the fuck just happened? A suki. Hmm. I like your last. I like your last one better. Uh, really? Oh yeah, I can tell you were a little more daring with this one. But you're really not good enough for that yet. It's not flat. That may be true, but I just wanted to try something different. I'm still figuring this all out. Fair enough, you're still new to this, so I wouldn't expect you to find your, your style right away. I mean, everyone in the club right, writes really differently from each other. Maybe you'll find a little influence from us all. From all of us. For instance, I noticed that you were spending some time with Yuri today. Not that I care who you spend time with. After all, I was taught to never expect anything from anybody. So, it's not like I was waiting for you or anything. Still, you should at least look over my poem. You'll probably be able to learn something from it. Amy likes spiders. You know what I heard about Amy? Yeah, Amy likes spiders. Okay, this is a spider one. That's why I'm not a friend. Great for Okay, I'm the same. Not bad, right? Can I skip all this, or is there new stuff? No. It's quite a bit longer than yesterday's. Yesterday's was too short. I was warming up. I hope you didn't think that was the best I could do. No, of course not. Anyway, the message is pretty straightforward in this poem. And then I have to explain it. Like anyone wouldn't... Like anyone would agree that the subject of this poem is an ignorant jerk. Everyone has some kind of weird hobby or 
a guilty pleasure. Something that you're afraid. Something, something that you're afraid. If people find out, they make fun of you or think less of you. But that just makes people stupid. Who cares what someone likes as long as they're not hurting anyone that makes them happy? I think people really need to learn to respect another uh, for liking weird things. Such as two of the girls in this very club who I respect for the vote name. Kind of ironic that even in my own, even in my one place of comfort, I can't even have people respect me. Jeez, now you're making me complain too much. What did I do? For what it's worth, I respect you. Well, I guess thanks. But it's kind of obvious that you respect Yuri more, so. Whatever, we're done sharing, so you can leave me now. You can leave now. Fuck you then. I've been waiting for this. Let's see what you've written for today. Hmm? Hmm? Yuri stares at the phone with surprised expressions on her face. Do you like it? Kim. How did you pick up on this so quickly? Just yesterday, I was telling you the kind of techniques worth practicing. Maybe that's why you did a good job explaining. I really wanted to try giving it more imaginary. Image, imagery. Yuri visibly swallows. Even her hand appears sweaty. Uh, that makes me so happy. It's so amazing to feel like I'm a valid, valid Cameron. Valued Cameron. Anything that you write is a treasure to me. My heart pounds just holding it. I want to write a poem about this feeling. Is that bad, Cameron? I'm not being weird, right? I'm having a hard time than usual, but considering my, considering my emotions, I'm kind of embarrassed. But right now, I just want to read my poem too, okay? Oh shit. This one looks like a different one too, but it's in that text I can't read. Wheel. Uh, noticing wheel turning and axle grinding, but the lunch game box, falling sky, seven holy stakes, a docked ship, uh, political to another world, a uh, thin slope tied to a thick rope, uh, a, a thin rope tied to a thick rope, a ton of Handles, handless, for gay box, examining universe, turn controlled by slipping, current expressing of God, swimming with open water in all ad, uh, div, divections, drowning, a fruit written in blood, a uh, prey written in time, devolving snakes with human eyes, uh, a tweed connecting all living human eyes, uh, a can, what, a cannon scope of holy stakes, ex, exponing gene boy, a sky of exploding stars, gold displays the existence of God, a wheel Sorting in six dimensions, twenty gears and a ticking clock. A clock that ticks on one second for every sotion of I don't know of the planet.
a clock that ticks 40 time, 40 times every time it ticks every second time. A, a bothered of holy stakes tries to the extinction of a dock ship to another world. A tiny scope of blood written in clocks. A time devouring devouring prey connecting a sky of 40 gears and open human eyes in all directions breathing a uh, gearbox breathing bottle for the breathing ship breathing pedal breathing snake breathing god breathing blood breathing holy stake breathing human eyes breathing Time breathing, pray, breathing skies, and breathing wheel. <sighs> it doesn't really matter what it's about. My mind has been a little hypocritive. Uh, hypocritive lately. Hypocritive? So I've had to take it out on your pen. Ah, uh, that is a pen that fell out of your backpack yesterday, so I took it home for safekeeping and I, um, I just really like the way that it writes. So I wrote this poem with it, and now you're touching it. <laughs> I, I'm okay. Uh, what did I just... Mm, can we pretend this conversation never happened? You can keep the poem, though. You have unlocked a special poem. Would you like to read it? Yes. Today I cut my skin open for the first time. It was exhilarating. I think I understand how it feels now. Uh, wait. How... Uh, that's either Sayori or Yuri. How Yuri feels now. I'm supposed to be the responsible one though. So I don't think I'll be doing it again. Unless I decide to kill myself. I left a um, moment of the occasion below. A memento of the occasion below. So, that's fucking... Okay, Yuri, Jesus, anything added to this? Not yet. That's fucking weird. Don't be giving me your blood. Okay, everyone. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? We have something we need to go over today, so if everyone could come sit at the front of the room. Is this about the festival? Well, sort of. Uh, do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like we can put together anything good in just a few games. We'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. That's... That's a concern of mine as well. I don't really do well with method preparation. Don't worry so much. We're going to keep it simple, okay? Look, I know everyone's been a little more lively ever since camera joined, and we're starting with some club activities. But this isn't the time for us to become complacent. 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 Yeah, complacent. We still only have four members, and the festival. It's our only real chance to find more, you know? What's so great about getting new members anyway? We already have a, enough to be considered an official club. More members would just mean everything gets noisier and more difficult to manage. That's just me. I don't think you look at it the right way at all. Do you want to share your passion with as many 
Don't you want to share your passion with as many people as you can? To inspire them to find the same feeling that put you here in the first place? The literature club should be a place where people can express themselves like they can't do anywhere else. It should be a place so intimate that you never want to leave. I know you feel that way too. I know we all do. So that's why we should work hard and put something together for the festival, even if it's something small. Right, Cameron? Uh... Oh, come on! You can't take advantage of Cameron to agree with you just because he doesn't know how to say no to anything. Look, Monica. Do you really think any of us here joined the club with other people in mind? You never even talked until Cameron joined. And as for me, I just like it better here than I do at home. And Cameron isn't even passionate uh, uh, pa patient? Ah. Uh, and Cameron isn't even passionate about the literature in the first place. And that's everyone. Sorry, but you're really the only one who's so interested in finding new members. The rest of us are fine like this. I know you're president and all, but you should really consider our opinion for once. Um... Monica clearly, Monica is clearly taken aback by Natsuki's words. That's not true at all. I'm sure Yuri and Cameron want to get more members too, right? Uh, I don't know about Yuri, but I'm kind of indifferent. If I show as much enthusiasm as Monica wants, wanted, then I would probably be lying. Still, it's up to me to rescue the situation. Um, no. Natsuki's right, isn't she? This club, nothing more than a place for a few people to hang out. Why did I think that everyone here saw it the same as way as I did? Uh, but that doesn't mean that we're against getting new members or anything. Cameron, why did you join the club? And why did you even join this club? What were you hoping to get out of it? Well, that's not really something I can be honest about, is it? In fact, if I remember, you weren't even given a choice not to join. Monica sits down and stares at her death. What's the point of this anyway? What if... Starting this club was a mistake. Uh. Now you've done it, Natsuki. What? Me? I just spoke my mind. Is it a crime to be honest? It's not about being honest. It's about word choice. Besides, you have no right to speak for everyone else in the club like that. You don't understand at all. I just... I just wanted a place that feels nice to hang out with a few friends. Is there a problem with the club being that for me? There, there aren't... There aren't... There aren't many other places like that for me. And now Monica wants to take it away from me? She's not taking anything away. No, Cameron. It's not the same. It won't be the same with the direction she wants to take it. If I wanted that, then I could have just joined any other stupid club. But this one... I mean... At least for a little bit of time... Things were nice. Natsuki starts packing up her things. I'm going home. I feel like I don't belong here right now. Natsuki? Natsuki ignores Yuri and walks right out the classroom. Oh, this is bad. I don't know what to do. Well, do you have an opinion on the festival? I, I don't know. 
I'm kind of indifferent, I guess. Who cares about the obnoxious brat? Wow, Yuri, fucking Jesus. I mean, I like how nice and quiet the club is right now. And I'm just happy with being here. But still, I'm the vice president. It's not right for me to ignore my responsibilities like that. Nobody would cry if she killed herself. <laughs> hey, you fucked up! I should do my best to consider everyone's uh, perspective and make the decision that's right for the club. What about you, Kevin? What do you want to get out of this club? Yuri repeats the same question as Monica. I decide. Ah. Uh, I decide, given an indirect answer is better than nothing. I think the most important thing is for everyone to get along and for the club to provide something that you can't get anywhere else. I don't think it's about how many members, but rather the quality of each member. That's what will end up making the literature club a special place. I see. I really agree with you. Each member contributes their own qualities in a special way. With each change in members, the identity of the club as a whole will change too. I don't think it's necessary, necessarily a bad thing. And stepping out of the comfort zone once in a while. So, if you would like... Is there something dripping from her eye? There is! There's blood dripping from her eye! I didn't realize that was still going! Um... So, if you would like to help Monica with the festival, then I'm on your side as well. Alright. Well, maybe we can all talk to Natsuki tomorrow. Yuri nods. Hey, Yuri? Uh... Um... I know things were a little awkward yesterday, but I feel like you deserve to know that I still think you're a wonderful vice president, and also a wonderful full friend. Monica, I want to do everything I can to make this the best club ever, okay? Me too. Yeah. Let's all go home for today. We'll talk about the festival tomorrow. Okay. I look forward to it. Shall we go, Cameron? Um... Please don't take this the wrong way, but... I'm going to chat a little bit with Cameron before he leaves. Just to see what he thinks of his time here and all that. It's important to me as president. Um... Yuri looks a little troubled, but she doesn't protest. Okay. I trust your judgment, Monica. In that case, I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Monica waves at Yuri. Uh, Monica waves as Yuri exits, exits the classroom. Phew. Things have been a bit hectic lately, haven't they? Cameron, I just want to make sure you're enjoying your time at this club. I would really hate to see you unhappy. Oh, it's getting staticky again. I feel kind of like I'm responsible for that as president. And I really do care about you, you know. I don't like seeing the other girls give you a hard time. With how mean Natsuki is and everything, and you being a little bit, you know. <laughs> Sometimes it feels like you and I are the only real people here. You know what I mean? Wait, are you referring to me as the player? And you as 
something else because that's on a that's weird because in all the time you've been here we've hardly gotten to spend any time together uh, I mean I guess it's technically only been a couple days sorry I didn't mean to say something weird there are just some things I've been hoping to talk about with you things I know only you can understand so that's why wait no no Okay. Um. Also, like, I went to the the next scene a little. Are you sure you want to overwrite this? Yes. I went to the next scene before she could finish talking. Oh, sorry, Monica. You're gonna have to wait because I'm gonna quit it there and left this anything in. Wait. That closed the hole. Okay. I don't remember it closing the whole game. I remember. I thought it went back to the menu. I guess not. Anything else in here? Can you hear me? Copyright. I I I I I trace back. Trace back changed. That message is gone from there, which is weird. Um. Anything? Log. Nothing in log. I think there's anything new in there. Anything important? Screen size. Yeah. That's all good. That's the same. Uh, that's the same. Wait. Okay. Alright, that's all the same too. Nothing new. What about characters? Okay, they're all there too. Um, alright, cool. That's it for today. This is Moonlight Ninja. Starting out.